Hey guys, I had this feeling last year that Nick Kyrgios wasn't going to continue to play tennis much longer. In fact, I thought he was going to retire at the end of 2022. And the reason why I thought that was that he announced at the Labor Cup that this was going to be his last Labor Cup. And I know how much Nick enjoys playing for the Labor Cup. He gives it his absolute best. He's playing absolutely fantastic at this event so the fact that he wasn't going to play there anymore got me worried that he was going to quit tennis and i hope that nick keeps playing because tennis needs nick kyrgios and the reason i'm saying this was that over the past two weeks at the australian open nick kyrgios got me watching doubles i never watch grand slam doubles unless it's a final but this week i watched every match that they showed on TV. And the funny thing was that they actually were showing doubles in the coverage. They usually don't do that until the late stages of the doubles tournament. And for you guys who don't know, Kyrgios and Kokinakis won the Australian Open doubles title. And the reason why this was such an exciting thing was Nick Kyrgios. He's a natural born entertainer. And a lot of people will say about Nick that he hasn't fulfilled his potential. And I actually made a video giving my opinion on why uh, this is the case with Nick and I decided to not publish this video uh, for you guys that are intuitive tennis premium members that video is still up there you can watch it if you want but I ultimately decided not to post this video because of personal reasons but I'm making this video today simply hoping that Nick Kyrgios continues to play tennis because he's a natural born entertainer he's something that tennis desperately needs now remember one of the best matchups in the history of tennis was Borg against McEnroe, right? You had the nice, quiet guy, and then you had the crazy guy with the big temperament that was getting angry all the time. And this is what tennis needs. There's too many Borgs out there on tour right now, too many guys who are behaving themselves. And don't get me wrong, if everybody was misbehaving or behaving like McEnroe, uh, tennis would be unwatchable. But I do think that we need the different personalities in tennis. We need the good against the bad. Now, I'm not saying that Kyrgios is bad by any means, but he's entertaining to watch, not only because he goes through his motions, he gets angry, he argues with the umpire, he engages the crowd, but also, let's face it, in my opinion, Nick Kyrgios has maybe the best serve on tour. He has what you would classify as the forehand that has changed the game. That is the modern forehand, is a tremendous amount of spin. He can hit the ball as hard as he wants to without sacrificing control, and actually, Nick has a little bit of Rafa in him. The way he hustles, the way he runs balls down when he really wants to win is something that's quite spectacular. He's an amazing athlete as well. He also has the feel, he has the touch. He can come in and put balls away at the net. Of course, he's a Grand Slam doubles champion. So of course he is good at the transition game as well. But that's not it. Nick also brings an extra flavor to the game with the between the leg shots, the behind the back, the underhand serves. So he has the complete package and in my opinion he is the best entertainer that we have in the sport today and that's the reason why all the doubles matches that he was part of this year at the Australian Open were absolutely sold out uh, the stands were absolutely packed everybody was going crazy so Nick if you happen to be listening to this video I know you have a podcast now called no boundaries if you happen to come across this video please keep playing the game because tennis desperately needs you